you can connect it to your local router, not connected to the open internet. And then, yeah, you can still have insights in your charger, um, see how your charger performs, perform smart charging on a local level. In a lot of applications, I think that uh, internet connection is uh, vital for an EV charger, especially in the, at business locations and when you have a lease car at home, so that you can do uh, perform transactions. Um, but there are also a lot of cases where uh, internet connectivity is not really a hard requirement, I feel. Uh, for example, in a home charging with your privately owned car, you want to have insights in, uh, in yeah, the, uh, the EV charger. We don't necessarily need um, internet connection for that. Um, you can connect it to your local router, not connected to the open internet. And then, yeah, you can still have insights in your charger, um, see how your charger performs, perform smart charging on a local level. And uh, so still have the functionality you need. But, Internet connection is definitely vital for a lot of use cases in EV charging. Typically, uh, most charge point operators want to uh, be in control of their own connectivity. So they uh, usually choose uh, 4G, 2G connection with a mobile network, so with a SIM card. But in some uh, locations, for example, uh, parking lots uh, underground or maybe in rural areas, the connection is bad. And, and then it is advised to use uh, Ethernet or WLAN, preferably Ethernet because it's a hardwired connection. And even though you're, uh, you depend on the router of a household or a building, it still results in quite stable Internet. Um, so that's a little bit the choice the, uh, also the installer needs to make. Whether they go for a mobile network because they have stable internet in, in certain areas, for example, cities, outdoors, or whether they need to choose for a yeah, hardwired connection. When you have a connected charger, uh, which is connected to a back office and you need to perform transactions uh, and there's no internet, initially actually there's not really a problem because uh, typically an EV charger can still work offline for a certain amount of time. But if it's wobbly uh, during like installation, uh, you cannot connect to the back, back office initially. That might lead to uh, some problems. And also if it's uh, offline for a longer uh, period of time, then there might be no memory anymore to save the transactions. And then it will just cannot perform any transactions. For, uh, and it is also offline for smart charging behavior, cannot be controlled from the back office. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, which is a vital point for charge point operators. So yeah, it has quite some consequences when you're uh, charger is offline for a longer period of time.